Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to first describe the atlas motion for those of you who have taken the Blair course, and we're going to look at six different points on the atlas condyle relationship and what we should see if Dr. Blair was in fact right. So right here we have the left condyle and we have the right condyle. The dashed line represents the atlas and the solid line represents the condyle. So if we have an ASR, we have a track condyle on the left and we have an overlap, I'm sorry, we have a yeah, track condyle left and we have an overlap on the right. So on the left posterior side of the track condyle, because the atlas has moved forward, we should see an underlap. On the middle, we should see even. And on the front of the track condyle, too far around the bend, we should see overlap, even, underlap. And what I'm going to do in a moment, we're going to pan back and go over the CBCT. So on the right joint, on the overlap joint, too far around the bend, we should see a very large overlap. More medial lateral, we should still see an overlap. And even a little bit too far around the bend, we should still see an overlap. So let's take this away. And then we will go back to those same points. So this is the, see this opening in here? See the blue line here? That is a cut through the left condyle. So again, this is the track condyle. When we're too far around here, over here on the skull atlas relationship, we should see an underlap. And we do. And so as we go over here, if we look at the lateral most margin of we should see an even, so skull and atlas is even on the track condyle on the lateral margin. And then if we take a cut on the antero margin of that joint, we should see an overlap. And you can see the atlas is slightly overlapped of the condyle because we're too far around the bend on the track condyle. So now let's take a look at the right joint. We'll go over here to the right joint. Again, this is an ASR. We should have a big overlap on the anterolateral margin. And you can see the atlas is a giant overlap compared to the condyle. So that was point four. And then we're going to go to the anterolateral margin on ASR. We still should see an overlap. And you can see the atlas significantly overlapped on the condyle. And for the last point, on the CB, the lateral most margin, let's go a little bit too far around the bend on the convergence. And we again, we see a smaller overlap is again what we would expect. So by looking at the lateral margin all the way around both atlas skull relationships, uh, this pretty much proves that what Dr. Blair was, uh, was right about the tracking and sliding. Uh, and it's pretty exciting. Thank <laughs> you.